Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different and what I mean by that is those of you who have already been watching my previous videos may already be here because you've seen my reviews on my Tesla Model 3 performance. But today I wanted to talk about this, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I decided to finally buy and switch to the iPhone 12 Pro Max just recently. And the reason why I decided to upgrade was because of the amazing camera it has to offer. Up until now, I have been using my Sony RX107 to film all of my Tesla videos. And while it is compact and gets the job done, I've been on the search for a new camera for the channel and landed on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And since I'm always on the go when I'm filming these videos, the thought of being able to whip out an iPhone with tremendous camera quality out of my pocket without all the clunky gimbals and gear, I really couldn't say no. So today's video is going to be mostly filmed with this iPhone 12 Pro Max and I wanted to give you guys my review of it. My vision is that this will allow me to reach more people and diversify my content on this channel in addition to my Tesla videos. So I really hope everyone welcomes this new content here as I'm really excited for more future videos to come. And for all of you guys who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you for being awesome. And I really hope that you guys appreciate my future content as well. With that being said, let's get into the video. So the phone I went with is the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the 256 gigabyte option for the added storage space. And I decided to go with the graphite color. I've always preferred black iPhones over the white ones or colored ones. And I really like what Apple did this year with this new color. It's not just a normal or standard black, but it almost looks like a matte black sort of finish, which makes it really stand out in my opinion. I also love what they did here with the edges. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a stainless steel frame, which is now a squared off finish instead of having round edges. And I really love this. It feels much better and much safer in my hands, making it harder for it to slip out of my fingers. My one gripe with this frame, however, is that it collects fingerprints really easily and I really wish Apple used the same finish here that they gave to the back of the iPhone to prevent this. The iPhone 12 also comes with a ceramic shield on the 6.7 inch front display, which Apple claims is four times more durable than what we've had in the past. But even so, I did decide to get extra protection with a blue light screen protector on my screen to reduce my eye strain as much as possible since nowadays we're always online. I also got a leather Apple case to protect my phone from any physical impacts just in case I drop my phone. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is capable of filming at 4K, 60fps, and Dolby Vision HDR. The 12 Pro Max has a 50% larger sensor for better depth of field and for better, cleaner low light shots. The new iPhone now has a 2.5x optical zoom, allowing you to really punch in so you can get closer to your subject. I am actually really blown away about how much I can get into the frame with this ultra wide lens. And I can tell you it makes such a big difference when you're filming in tight spaces or maybe for example in your car. The Pro Max's lighter sensor also effortlessly gives you that nice shallow depth of feel or blur around your focus. And to top things off, the in-body image stabilization in this thing is insanely good. With my Sony, setting up this clunky gimbal does get a little frustrating at times, but with the iPhone, you can clearly see that stabilization is so spot on that you can even just take shots handheld even without a gimbal. So this is a handheld shot of my Model 3, no gimbal at all, just using the in-body stabilization on the iPhone. And I have to say it looks pretty good. But what do you guys think? Can you guys see a difference from my other clips? Is it better? Is it worse? I'm really curious to know. So if you do, please, please let me know in the comments below. That being said, if you do want the best results possible for those smooth and buttery shots, pairing your iPhone with a gimbal is still ideal. Which brings me to the DJI Osmo Mobile 4 Gimbal. 
So you may have guessed it already, but this pair is going to be my primary setup for all of my video content going forward, at least for a while. The Osmo Mobile 4 is so lightweight and compact, it really is the perfect match for your convenient iPhone setup. Now besides its size and convenient design, I really wanted to pair this phone with this gimbal because of its active tracking feature that it has to offer. With the DJI MIMO app, the Osmo 4 can actively track your desired subject and automatically keep your subject in the middle of the frame at all times. This will make taking action shots where you're trying to follow a subject really, really easy. And I am really excited to take some smooth panning shots of my Model 3 with this new setup. And I won't bore you with my full workflow when creating videos here in this video, but since I'm filming everything on my iPhone now, I am really excited to be able to just airdrop any of my clips onto any of my devices that I'm working on. This will make saving clips and moving over footage for editing an extremely easy process. Well, that wraps it up for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And as much as I love talking about my Model 3, I did have a ton of fun filming this particular video. I'm looking forward to getting creative with this setup and leveling up my quality of content that I put out on the channel. So I hope you guys are looking forward to more videos like this, along with more Tesla videos as well. I do have a few ideas and projects that I'm planning on working on in the future. So if you do like what you are seeing, don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe for more. And if you have made it this far, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.